the lives of rural dwellers in Africa to improve their nutrition, to improve their health, to improve their income. And we do this through research to develop technologies and knowledge that will help agricultural producers and processors and rural families to do their job better. They face uh, biological challenges with their crops and their animals, such as diseases that reduce their yields, insects that reduce their yields. And in this context, we set for ourselves in our latest strategy that we will work towards removing 11 million Africans out of poverty. But we will do it in such a way that we protect the natural resources so that there is sustainability. Cassava is an extremely important crop in Africa. It is one of the crops that can be used to adapt our farming situations to climate change. IITA, through cassava breeding, has produced hundreds of varieties that are ready for farmers to transform their livelihoods as farmers. And we are working with uh, national authorities to develop certification systems that work and are practical. And then we're using these new technologies of rapid multiplication that can be used for large-scale rapid dissemination through projects, but also through commercial means so that the cassava crop can be sustained in a commercially driven system. So this is a cassava tuberous root. Um, it's a good size, but you can see the, the color of the, um, the, the root cortex there is kind of brown, black. And that's a typical symptom of cassava brown streak disease. Brown streak has suddenly become a major pandemic. You're talking, you know, hundreds of thousands of people whose food security is threatened. So there's been a race on for the researchers to try and identify ways of combating them. Um, and the main approach has been through trying to develop host plant resistance. So resistant varieties that don't get affected, um, or if they do get affected, have a minimal effect. Maize breeding at IIT uh, has been tackling the major production constraints, limiting uh, productivity, agronomic fitness ad and adaptation, uh, mainly in tropical lowlands, and also increasing nutritional and post-harvest quality. Our program has uh, a strong partnership with uh, CIMIT, the National Agricultural Research Systems, the private sector, and also advanced research laboratories, which resulted in the development and release of more than 490 varieties and hybrids. These varieties and hybrids have significantly contributed to the phenomenal increase in maize production in West and Central Africa. Our current breeding program uh, has been uh, designed in such a way that will uh, deliver products that are more productive, nutritious, and multiple stress resilient uh, that are attractive to farmers to have a greater impact at the farm level. Here in IHA, we're developing new yam varieties and new technology from yam research that can be adopted by farmers and industry um, to make yam uh, more profitable and uh, increased productivity. We have a strong team here in IITA working on seed multiplication and to rapidly get clean seed into the farmer's hands. Um, th this technology, the combination of, of seed, agronomy and breeding and genetics can give uh, farmers uh, new opportunities um, to even enhance the value of yam in Nigeria and West Africa. Well, IIT has a major activity in terms of research in cowpea. It is a crop that is grown mostly in the dry areas of uh, sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, it's being developed to actually adapt better and perform even in the face of drought. We use the genetic uh, germplasm material that is available to facilitate this process. So we use both uh, conventional genetics uh, breeding we also use uh, molecular tools 
such as molecular markers to facilitate progress and the development of cowpea varieties that are resilient uh, to climate change. In IITA, we develop and deploy cutting-edge genomic tools, including innovative uh, molecular breeding schemes, diagnostics, in vitro propagation, and genetic engineering to accelerate the uh, development of superior varieties. Here in Nigeria, we have world-class laboratory with competencies in DNA and RNA analysis, sequencing, fingerprinting, tissue culture, and bioinformatics. We also have laboratories in Benin, Kenya, and Tanzania. We provide training on different topics to enable our partners benefit from biotechnology. Our facilities are also open to our partners. A lot of uh, Africans eat a lot of carbohydrate foods, and to supplement that, we need a lot of protein, at least for improvement, and for longevity, and for health purposes. Varieties that we develop here are of high protein content. And again, we have varieties that are amenable to what we call integrated soil fertility management. That is an aspect that is required for climate smart uh, agriculture. Transgenic is a tool in which you can transfer the gene from outside of that species, even within that species, to the other species. So this is the banana transgenic, which has the gene from the green pepper in it. We test them under the glasshouse condition. The control non-transgenic plants develop symptoms and they completely wilt within month time. But our transgenic plants doesn't develop any symptom and they actually are quite resistant. When we've been able to come up with these varieties, the next challenge so that we can get the benefit out of them is to make sure that the planting material or the seeds of this can get into the hands of farmers. And there we're working very closely with our partners in the national systems and the development agencies and seed companies in the private sector. At the Genetic Resources Centre of IITA, we have very important international collections of many of the most important staple crops of Sub-Saharan Africa. The diversity that we have within these collections is very important as a cornerstone of breeding programs to increase food security within Africa. IITA, when we are talking about empowering women, addressing gender issues, disparities between men and women, in terms of access to knowledge, in terms of income decision making, it's not just a rhetoric. Both men and women have benefited, especially how women are empowered through these technologies, through our interventions. If you want to bring more investment and, you know, expand the impact, then we have, we have evidence. That's what we are talking about. Me, adult of man, into a woman now. The factory in Indy bring me up small, 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 small. Because if I walk here, if we get small profit, me boss man, they say, yeah, this. So now from this factory, the home, they stands firm. The BIP is quite unique in its approach because what we try to do is we take technologies developed at the IETA, which already have proof of concept, we scale them up, not just as a project, but in a commercial way. We also have the objectives from the IETA, that we have to bring technologies to the market at an affordable price for the farmer. So from here, this is a platform, it's incubated, it's somewhat protected, but our aim is to get them outside in the market as free businesses. Youth unemployment is a very serious challenge in Africa, and everyone will agree with me that it's time to begin to engage the youth in productive avenues of agriculture. So basically, the IITA Youth Agripreneurs, IA, started off in August 2012. We never saw agribusiness or agriculture as a gold mine, but today we are proud to be called farmers. Most of people, even young people, they are taking agriculture like last option. But nowadays, I see most of young people engaging in agriculture. There is no way Africa is going uh, to make progress without addressing key issue of uh, agriculture production. And uh, for Africa to do that has uh, basically to increase uh, production, agriculture production, 
and IT is uh, the forefront uh, of addressing those issues uh, because uh, it's dealing with the major crops here in Africa. We are very encouraged by the progress that has been made thus far. But we are also conscious of the fact that even more research and delivery will be required, which is aimed at transforming African agriculture in such a way that agriculture really becomes the engine for economic development for African countries.